This is Chicho, and today is August 7th, 2019, and uh, we're going to be listing more books on eBay. Okay, this is sort of an unannounced live stream. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, I got the windows open here, so we're going to hear traffic and whatnot. But what we're going to be doing is uh, listing some more books on eBay uh, for the month of August. And let me just grab. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, let's list more God books on eBay. There we go. So this is what I'm going to be. I'm just going to list this thing to. Uh, should have done this before we actually went live I guess right but uh, what we're gonna do is list some books on eBay let me just do a little bit of house cleaning well not house cleaning but taking care of business in the back end nice room let's list more comic books on eBay publish let's do it for mind This guy off. Let's see, that works, that works. Let's post that. And let's do the same on Twitter. Boink. And Discord should send out a notification uh, to people that our live stream has started. <laughs> so that's what we're about to do. Nicholas, how you doing? How's life? Welcome to another live stream mark <laughs> you guys are like <laughs> on here like man that's awesome i'm just gonna pop out the chat man um i just wanted to do uh list some comic books uh some more books on ebay so i figured that we do we do x how are you doing we got right now just to let you know we got 18 books active uh, live on eBay and we have room for August to list another how many 34 so we're gonna try to max out our uh, listings free listings King how are you doing how's life hope you're doing well <laughs> Are you guys okay with these unannounced live streams? I hope so. It's like when I when I get time, I'm running around doing stuff. I sent out a couple of packages today uh, to people um, that just bought uh, some books yesterday. I gotta sort out my the data. I've been I haven't I'm way behind on the spreadsheet that I'm putting together of what we sold, how much it costs for shipping, and all this jazz. So after this live stream. I think I'm gonna spend a couple of hours, two, three, four hours. It's gonna take me a while just to sort it all out, to organize the spreadsheet and put the data in there and stuff like this. I should have stayed up with it uh, as we went, but I didn't. I hadn't really thought about what was gonna go into the spreadsheet until I mailed some stuff out just to see what the whole process was. Right, night, night. Dar. Oh, the Irish name, lions. Darav. Darag, I forget how you pronounce the first one, but Lions, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hey, Chicho, how do you say thank you in Armenian? Um, you know what? We used to, I, I usually use the French word, which is merci, right? But in Armenian, it's shunorakalem. Uh, shunorakalem. It's hard to say it, even for me. Shunorakalem. So we just use the short word, French. There's a lot of French words that we use, and a lot of languages use a lot of French words, so we just say merci. I have an Armenian neighbor that I have been uh, become friends with, and I like to greet and thank him in Armenian. Should I teach you some swear words? <laughs> I don't know, streams are the best streams, are they, Nicholas? Okay, cool, cool, good to know, good to know. Super Naz, how are you doing? I pronounced Dara. Don't worry about it, but it's a tough one, Dara. Dara Lions. I'll try to remember, man. I'll 
try I'm trying to improve my pronunciation of names. Um, not very good at it. Chicho, what was your first language? Uh, it would have been Armenian, Spider. At home, learning it at home, right? Uh, and then the next language was Farsi, which was Persian, uh, uh, Iranian, and then English. Yes, please, Armenian swear. <laughs> Seriously, you don't want to say that stuff to the guy. You get to know him first. How old is the guy? Does he have kids around him? Uh, there's some nasty. Like, English has just uh, straight up swear words. Uh, Farsi and Armenian have swear words that are like, what? <laughs> it's like crazy. Crazy. Uh, but Shunorakayam Barev Barev is easy. Barev means hello. Ishpesek means how are you? Barev Ishpesek. Start with that and once you get to know him I'll teach you some swear words. <laughs> Ayaz, there's an organism <laughs> whose only function is to consume and spread until all the resources are totally consumed and then it moves on to another place do you know what that is called it's a virus and do you know who we are we are the we are the cure oh do you think we are the cure i thought you were going to do a matrix on us and say we are the virus thank you chicho you're welcome man you're welcome I, i'm going to start taking pics listing books mark chicho do you do comic book uh, presses no i've never i've never even sent in a comic book to be graded would you ever consider doing a vid uh, going over comic I don't you know what there's machines that they do them you can do it with books and stuff it's you know what if we ever get there maybe we do I was at the comic shop today it's Wednesday right I was there this morning and I was talking with there's a whole bunch of regular people that come on Wednesday okay they're <laughs> the demographic is, is crazy there's a couple of a couple of girls there female right ages probably 20s 30s two or three that were buying you know whatever the shipment was whatever they were picking up right the rest of the people which was like anywhere between eight to ten people that were there picking up books and waiting for the books to be put on the racks and stuff were male between the ages of they were in their late 20s 30s 40s and 50s <laughs> okay that's the demographic <laughs> Where are the kids at? Where are the kids at? Irish is a really awkward language. Uh, a lot of silent G and H and stuff like that. For example, Tio Oh, wow. Al Arla is pronounced Chunky Airlaw. What? <laughs> it's a rebel IRA thing. It can't be pronounced. Airlaw? Chunky Airlaw? Chucky. Chucky. So, how, how would they get Chucky out of that? Tio Kafata Arla. That's funny. Like, it is wow. Hilarious. Will your day come? Uh, will your day come, Dara? The Dara Lion. Let me show you what I got the list here. I'm gonna list another doomsday doomsday run right first appearance of doomsday i got uh we got the bat junk <laughs> batman's private parts making an appearance and <laughs> batman damp number one these are the two variant covers this one is the jim lee cover i forget who did this one we'll have to look them up okay i have some other stuff uh, that i want to list as well I'm trying to list as it takes a fair bit of time like doing this stuff on eBay is consuming a crazy amount of time crazy amount of time um, but I'm gonna to try to fine-tune the whole process um, but what I'm gonna do right now is because all all we need to do is take pictures of these and because I've already listed them I already have the info so these are gonna be easy to list so I'm gonna take care of these guys let me put them in order that I'm going to upload them on. I have other Doomsday stuff that I want to list. Uh, but
but I, I guess I'll list those later. Uh, I should be going through listing, but there's there was so much to do. I think I bit off a lot more than I could chew trying to get 50 books out a month. I don't care what the price is. I'm gonna see Batman's Jack. <laughs> Chicho, what's on the pull box this week for you? I had the. Uh, I grabbed, uh, I got the Valiant. Valiant Fallen World came in. Uh, Immortal Hulk, uh, I picked up. Uh, I picked up some uh, randoms. Um, a couple of uh, image number ones that came in. Uh, I picked up the, uh, the Joker um, deceased uh, cover variant where the Joker is like zombie and it's a pretty cool cover. So I picked up that one. Um, what else did I pick up? I picked up all the image $1 reprint stuff, like there was 10 of them. So I picked all those up because uh, they're good to throw around and read random and have a, have them around if anybody wants to read, just pick them up. Spider, did you see the um, a viral tweet about the girl who runs a comic book shop and had over $800 in not picked up subscription? Yeah, I did see that actually now uh, polls for customers absolutely yeah i did see that and that's something that uh, comic book stores have to put up with um the comic book where i have my pull list he just had to uh, empty a empty uh the box i guess that one person hadn't picked up uh their comics for nine months right and he's like nine months like you know, so a lot of money they're sitting on right i personally pick it up every week if I miss a week I pick up everything the following week it's rare that I don't pick them up within two weeks usually it's every week right um, that's what I try to do I, I know it's a crazy hobby uh, and just real estate prices and stuff everything's uh, like the taxes have gone up so they need to they need to sort out they need to be able to pay their bills right so that's what i do i try to pick them up right away loving the vest top sun's out guns out and i'm right <laughs> did you know united kingdom has gas chambers ah yes I, comic book i is look first appearance of doomsday we did a reading of this doomsday punching the thing everything can't be about uh, very sad destructive events in the world right so let's see what this sucker is going to grade at. This guy. There's a couple of spine stresses. So I don't know if you could see it. Let's see if we can see it on this end. I don't think you're going to see it on this end. I'll show you guys. Uh, uh, I don't know you, but you look like a real positive guy. <laughs> Try to be. I guess I got my negative sides too right and who has really thick skin i do have thick skin too thick sometimes i wish i had a uh i had you as a customer back when i was running my car yeah spider um in general i'm good in general i'm good i had one comic book store uh, screw me over a long time ago okay jesus it confirmed <laughs> uh, good value uh, should I tell you here one thing that happened uh, when vertigo first started okay back in the 1990s um, certain titles went under the vertical imprint right so all of a sudden it wasn't just DC it was vertical imprint right and to do their kickoff what did they do screw you over <laughs> check this out uh, people say you should never judge a book by its cover yeah never judge a book by its cover inside is important uh, but sometimes people have this energy around them it's it's the goatee right uh, so when the vertical imprint came out dc comics to do a promotion for it what they did to do increase the sales they said anybody that orders 25 issues of each of the first vertical imprint for all the titles will get a death platinum right and i'd never done this before i'd never ordered multiple copies of anything to get a special print run special cover of anything okay 
uh, do, you, do you or have you ever played any sports? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, soccer, football for you guys in Ireland. So soccer, football I've played, wrestling, basketball, volleyball. I, I did my share of sports. I got your delivery. Really great packaging. Excited for the doomsday calling. Nice, nice, awesome work. Um, I'm glad you got them. We, you, I have a whole bunch of, I gotta, I gotta organize the selling too. Yes, I got you live. <laughs> Cupcake, how are you doing? Welcome to a Chicho live stream. I, one thing I've done too is uh, people have been, you know, I have a little thing that I sent out when people buy stuff. Um, I say, you know, if you want to buy more, just let me know. I'll hold off on the, on the shipping. That way you can just pay a dollar extra for each comic. So people have been doing that, but I haven't been organizing it. So I got to go through organizing spreadsheets and stuff. Uh, stop interrupting the story. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's a conversation. Hope you've been well, dude. I've been well. Padre, 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 padre. Uh, so basically what I did with this vertical stuff, because I loved the, ver the vertical stuff when it came out in the 1990s, right? Helpless or sand, man, death, right? So they said for anyone that orders 25 copies of each of the first issue of the vertical run, for each of the titles, we'll get a death platinum, right? And I love death, and I was like, man, that's a lot of comics. I don't want to order 25. And I talked to my comic book store where I was had my pull list, and he was like, look, you have to order 25. I said, okay, man, put me down for 25 issues of all the titles. And there was like eight of them, right? Eight or 10 of them, eight of them, I think. So I got 25 issues of eight titles to get my hands on the death platinum, death number one platinum, right? So all the issues came out and then after buying all these 25 copies of all these things, I shouldn't have done it, but I wanted the Death Platinum, right? Finally, Death Platinum came up and he had it in a bag and board for me, right? So he had it like this for me. So I went, oh, right on. Okay, I'm happy about this. I paid way too much for it, right? Like crazy. I went, oh, awesome. I cracked it open and I brought it out take a look at it I flipped it and on the back it was oh, I'll show it to you guys it's buried somewhere in my box it was like crunched up it was like the back there was a huge dent there like it was <laughs> and I went oh dude and I went what look really you're gonna give me this after ordering 25 issues of this stuff and I was a really good customer of this guy, right? Like, fantastic customer. And he goes, yeah. I go, well, don't you have any other copies? You must have ordered a whole bunch. And he goes, no, the, the copy I got is, this is good condition, but it's mine. He said, right? That was a comic, but he goes, it's mine. And I went, oh, man. I got really pissed. Like, really. Uh, I didn't tell him at the time, but... I did my thing, whatever I needed to do. Okay, I was not happy about that, uh, and slowly I just didn't buy from him anymore. I I stopped buying comics really for a couple of years. Shortly after that, for two yeah a couple of years, I was I was disgusted with the guy. Right, very disappointed, very disappointed. That's my story. It's a bad story, but it is a story. Nice. I play American football or just football for you it's not actually I, I played not uh, I played soccer so UK football I guess the rest of the world calls it football America Canada calls soccer right uh, for American football I just played around for fun these live streams are so good to have in the background while I, while I write my dissertation boards <laughs> so wholesome awesome awesome good stuff Toby Kiwi. Hey, Chicho. Hope you're enjoying summer, man. Hey, have you read any of Yuvar Nor Harari? I don't know. I think you'd really enjoy his books. Sapien is good. And 21 Lessons for the 21st Century is a very interesting look at modern society and potential impact of infotech and biotech revolution. Look them up if you haven't. I've never heard of it. Uh, uh, Toby, uh, if you get a chance, if you're on Discord, go to Discord and uh, 
we have book folders uh, if you can recommend those in the book folder or uh, we've got two places for books I think light books and heavy books these sound like they're heavy if you could recommend them there uh, that way we will know what they are so we don't have to go through the chat that'd be fantastic and other people can see them as well I have a superhero question who, do, who would win in a fight Thanos or Dr. Manhattan Ma Dr. Manhattan and it wouldn't be a fight <laughs> Dr. Manhattan which is cool done <laughs> not that loud. it's like those questions where people said they used to say who would win a fight between Lobo and Wolverine Lobo without a doubt right like Lobo is a space biker that <laughs> travels freely in space <laughs> like he regenerates like mad right there's no doubt Lobo would win uh, against Wolverine right hope you burn his ch uh, you know what I didn't but I did burn him it's the only time and I didn't mean to I really didn't mean to but I was so disgusted I was just oh it, every time I went into the shop to pick up my pull list I was like it just my skin crawled right so I stopped going to my to pick up my pull list for a while right I just stopped going to the shop right I couldn't believe it I couldn't believe it I did my thing Chicho kill as well do you follow uh, and soccer teams Glasgow I used to I don't anymore man I don't anymore I've been to the World Cup though I watched Brazil in 94 I saw like 11 12 games hey Chicho Zara how you doing speaking of which I literally just got a job with an American football company just got off the interview 30 minutes ago. nice nice like professional American football company that's fantastic man congrats I've always want to ask that question to a person well versed in superhero because of your knowledge and comics and now I know yeah and by the way we have to clarify dr. Manhattan and Thanos Thanos without the infinity gauntlet or Thanos with the infinity gauntlet so we should clarify because the infinity gauntlet is huge right and with the infinity gauntlet i think thanos with the gauntlet would be equivalent to dr manhattan right how did you burn him get him to prepay for something <laughs> or no i just i i know i left at least a box and a half long box and a half of stuff that i you know I wish I had uh, to a certain degree right because those are comic books I wanted but I just didn't I couldn't do it like I bought the 200 comic books to get a that platinum <laughs> not this and guaranteed the guy had more than one death platinum because he didn't just order 50 copies of each of the vertical he ordered like at least 200 copies of each of the vertical it was a pretty busy shop so he had more death platinums and he gave me the one that was destroyed what a guy what a guy <laughs> have you seen the shazam movie yeah i really liked it really disappointing but was it disappointing i liked it it was it was g-rated it was fun it was it was okay it was on the same level as a little bit better than ant-man actually you know it was better than ant right so I liked it it was it was fun it was it was to a certain degree what comic books should be it, it was sort of a g-rated comic book right it wasn't uh, uh, <laughs> it wasn't uh, the, what do you call it uh, the history of violence right it wasn't uh, unbreakable not that it's based on a comic book it wasn't some of the more better mature movies out there I enjoyed it too spider okay we'll look into this card now cheers they aren't too heavy he's a very smart dude but it's written uh, con conversation okay cool thanks Toby I met Zaki Levy at Fanex awesome guy 
the Shazam dude. Cool. I, f I fell asleep during it, man. It was rubbish. Mm. It was G. It was G. It was just a fun movie. I want to kick into neutral. The ending was, eh. You know, the bad guy wasn't very smart bad guy, which is more like G-rated movies. It wasn't brutal, right? Yes, sir. It's a company that gathers and provides analytics for both the NFL and NCAA. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it sucked. It was a waste of potential. Oh, my God. That's amazing. That's really cool. And analyzing that data, man. That would be fantastic. Totally about you. What a bad guy. Not a nice guy, man. I liked them. We were friends, but I guess, yeah, one thing that happened with us was I was buying a lot of Valiants at the time, right? And no one was buying Valiants when it was coming out. So I was buying Valiants and he knew I had a lot of Valiants. And then when the Valiants shot up in price, I went to some conventions and sold some Valiants to, you know, finance my, my hobby, right? And I don't think he liked the idea that the books that I had had gone up in value and I was selling a whole bunch of them, generating money and buying books. So he decided to burn me. I don't know why. He was under stress. He was under stress. He was going through his personal, but whatever. He, he, was, going, he was going through a divorce and stuff like this. And uh, I guess he was stressed out and he didn't like to see someone be happy doing comic books and be really passionate about it and stuff like this and I don't know I don't know Captain you know what Shazam was better than Captain Marvel Marvel too that was Ron uh, Ron uh, Burgundy in the house number one uh, Captain Marvel was okay uh, it wasn't bad but it was serious agendas there Shazam better than Captain Marvel my take okay i think manhattan would would still beat thanos with the gauntlet and i wanted to ask if you knew a character called uh saitama from one punch man i've seen one punch man which one was saitama i haven't read the manga though could be could he beat thanos do you think if you've heard of him is he the main guy the guy the, she bald guy shrunk and just the the main one punch man or one of the bad guys if he's the one punch man could he beat thanos one punch man can beat he beat everyone right <laughs> he just gears up <laughs> one punch man anime phenomenal loved it hey thanks man appreciate it now oh, you're welcome sorry they worship cows in india do you think that cows can give life they do give life when you eat them they give you energy <laughs> right <laughs> that's Thanos I enjoyed Captain Marvel too it was okay but I think uh, Shazam was better than Captain Marvel it was more endearing it was more endearing there's one cut scene that they one scene that they cut out of Captain Marvel where the the one with the biker uh, I saw an analysis of it where and it's not in the movie, right? It's one of the scenes that they cut out where the guy, you know, the sleazy guy, whatever, rides up in a bike and starts talking to Captain Marvel and she's, you know, doing this and doing that. And they show her squishing his hand and stealing his bike and jacket and stuff like this. <laughs> the analysis was this, and it was legit analysis saying, hey, why is it okay for Captain Marvel to commit hardcore violence against someone that hasn't committed any violence against them right so the persona they pr portrayed in captain marvel i didn't like very much i like it was very high budget right so the bells and whistles were good the dialogue there was zero emotional attachment for me to the characters when they were telling their stories and you're supposed to be teary-eyed and stuff like this it was just <laughs> It was like nothing, right? Compare that to the Legion TV series where the dialogue and they're talking. I felt more for Shazam than Captain Marvel. Have you watched The Boys? Yeah, I like The Boys on Amazon Prime Time. If not, I believe you would like it. I love it. 
I still have three more episodes to go, but fantastic. <laughs> I'm a massive NFL fan. Go Burrs and NCAA. Go no, <laughs> that's a dream job for me. Captain Marvel versus Captain Planet. Who would win? Captain Planet. I don't know who Captain Planet is. Which one's Captain Planet? Cows are not worshipped in India. They are re revered. Is oh, oh yeah. I have the birds winning in. Da, 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 da. Oh wow. Losing on the. Uh, you watch the boys in Amazon yet? I watch the boys. Uh, that Amazon puts out. I don't think I've watched it on Amazon. I've watched it though. Three episodes left. I'll have to give them another uh, watch then and try stay awake. I think Chris Nolan Batman movie are the best superhero movies around. You know what? Um, Watchmen. I really like Watchmen. Uh, Watchmen I think was fantastic. Uh, really. The, for some reason, Watchmen should be in the top 10 of for me it's in my top 10 superhero movies really it's fantastic a lot of people don't give it love because the ending was a little different well different and whatever but phenomenally done yeah the main guy <laughs> is he him? i'm bad with names so i forget him uh could he could he beat thanos he could beat anyone one punch man <laughs> if you guys haven't seen one punch man watch it what a fantastic anime and he's like an emo <laughs> He's like <laughs> One Punch Man is class. Um, no chill, Chicho. No, no, no chill, Chicho. New nickname should be One Punch Man. I'm not loud. What superhero more are your favorites? My favorite have been the OG Spider Man one and two, Superman one and two, were cool too. The original Superman was really good, man. With uh, uh, Christopher. Uh, oh man, I forget uh, Reeves. Uh, very sad when he broke his spine um, there's a few superhero movies that I like I, it, it doesn't come to mind right now uh, Watchmen is one of them it was fantastic right brace yourself with those last three episodes Ew, I can't wait I can't wait <laughs> do you like cowboys and Indians yeah why isn't it? there's a cowboys and Indians comic book stuff favorite superhero movie Watchman ahead of his time, yeah. Watchman was ahead of his time, trending up. Thank you for the raid. If only they made all superhero movies R rated like Watchman. Agreed. More superhero movies need to be R rated, right? Like for example, one of the, one of the my pet peeves when it comes to uh, comic books, right? Especially in regards to Superman level powers, right? They show Superman winding up to punch bad guys. Superman winding up would, well, th there's two different Supermans. There's Superman with God powers and there's Superman with not God powers. Like he's more of a superhero than. So Superman, all he would have to do is just go boop, right? And they show Superman. I, I personally don't like it. I like Christopher Reeve's Superman where he's slender not muscular right i don't like the superman's drawn like for example this one like you see it on this one right take a look like you see the muscles on superman superman doesn't need the muscles right so i don't like it when they show superman with gigantic muscles like a bodybuilder because he doesn't need to be that <laughs> right so that's one of my pet things regarding superheroes. Uh, and there should be a lot more gore and violence. Uh, gore in, like, the boys. Okay. Are you going through comics again? I've only been in the once before you and didn't talk until the end because you record for your site on YouTube or something. Do you show showed some cool comics from the 90s I hadn't seen in years? Yeah, yeah. I... I've been planning. I plan on listing some stuff. Uh, uptime. I didn't do this. Uptime. What are we at? We've been going for thirty-five minutes. I haven't listed anything on eBay yet. 
what do you think of the return of uh, Superman some beautiful scenes in that in comparison to the new ones but Chris Reeves ones I love when I was a kid yeah Chris Reeves embodied uh, the soul of Superman the essence of Superman right the newer Superman movies they're beautiful but the essence was missing it was it was cold right uh, the soul was missing so they were okay to look at but I'd be okay just putting those on and cranking some music right Chicho you watch Better Call Saul yeah I've seen the first that first season and half of the second season when season four will go on Netflix yeah I liked it I like it and I will at some point watch it watch the whole thing I've been watching your videos that you suggest on how to be more motivated and I've been able to change my life for the better because of you Chicho very glad oh, I'm glad spider it's just sharing what uh, has helped me right um, and the way I go about doing things so I'm glad it's helping out I know other people have uh, sent me private messages and, uh, and things uh, just mentioning that they have helped uh, and that makes me happy man that makes me happy thank you for letting me know beans uh, Superman should have the same physique as one punch man yeah agreed just regular Joe Blow right not a muscle guy Batman muscle guy he's a regular guy he works out he needs the muscles to be able to beat people right Civil War and the Dark Knight or the Dark Knight have to be my favorites can't even list all the reasons why I love Civil War and uh, Heath, uh, Heath Ledger's performance in Dark Knight has been yeah Heath Ledger was fantastic he did really good one thing I loved about the boys is the gruesome ways people die yeah because of the hero's power imagine flash running through a person that uh, all the heroes are much more powerful than most movie shows yeah they're humanizing pigs and <laughs> yes I gotta stop reading your stuff man yeah that guy that plays Superman now is useless his face doesn't uh, move there's no personality or character it, here I'll tell you what one of the worst superhero movies in my opinion from the last 10 years in my opinion right that people rave about people say it's fantastic Wonder Woman what a piece of crap her acting was garbage the dialogue was garbage it was worse than captain marvel their their interaction i hate it i watched it with someone and she was a hardcore wonder woman fan she loved wonder woman and i wasn't saying anything I, when we were watching the movie i wasn't saying you know if i liked it or if i didn't like it right <laughs> horrible and that was because i didn't want to ruin it for her right and i know she uh, she loved Wonder Woman and then about an hour into the movie <laughs> she goes she brings her hand up and goes boo <laughs> and I just start cranking cracking up right what a whore. who wrote that crap right and I talk to comic book people and they're like oh it was fantastic I'm like did you guys see the same movie I did what a piece of crap I didn't care about any of them I wish one punch man would come there and just beat the crap out of everyone and her acting oh my god I hated it I hated it All right so glad I didn't pay to watch it <laughs> that guy that plays I love silver surfer silver surfer is amazing do you day trade or uh, more long-term investing agree one of them was terrible terrible I don't day trade or anything I'm not sure if that was uh, geared towards me uh, Dave I like that but to be honest I think she's a total babe sure but acting wise it, it did nothing and you know what I don't care how good a packaging is right like food like if you go to gourmet restaurants and stuff it's 50 50 100 percent always looks amazing 50% of the time tastes like crap right 
So forget all the packaging of a human being. What's their essence, right? I wonder if Putin is a superhero. To some, he is. Her powers are con contradictory in it, though, which is annoying. I enjoyed World War One bits, but everything else is very meh. Yeah, sure, the action sequences were cool, but the dialogue. Oh my God, when they went into the cave and he was in the water bathing and she came and said something or she was it was like listening to like eight-year-olds talk i'm like why am i listening to eight-year-olds talk like one of them was a little part than batman versus superman was better than the entire movie wonder woman and batman versus superman relative to what batman versus superman was sure it was like the cherry on a pile of crap pudding I still haven't seen Wonder Woman yet. Take a look at it, Beans. Then she found out. I was which was like I notice you're into stocks and crypto and such. Yeah, Dave. Uh, I used to. I used to day trade. I used to uh, manage money for some people, right? I've managed a fair bit of money for some people, not with a license, just personally, right? Um, I've made a ton of money in the past I've lost a lot of money in the past uh, I follow stocks for sure crypto I I've done it but I'm not into it anymore I, I, I rather fill my life full of other things right the Marvel Iron Man and Thor movies were good I like the Thor ones the Iron Man stuff I got issues with the Thor movies I liked the Iron Man stuff I I have my pet peeves with because Iron Man would be fighting these other people and there's things blowing up everywhere and there's no gore there's nobody dying like things are blowing up and like planes are coming down and exploding in the streets and no one is dying like it's like what I believe Suicide Squad is the worst super yeah that was pretty bad I never finished it I watched like 45 minutes and I just went ay 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 turn it off turn it off ever watch the trailer was a masterpiece though. birds are the only species yet to be cloned well, they might clone dinosaurs so we'll see I'll tell you one of the worst suicide squad yeah super fire worker is now hosting we're up to three viewers yay thank you for the host got to love it Chicho was a head fund man not a head fund manager but I managed some funds for some people Uh, what about Justice League? Uh, it's bad, but for some reason I enjoyed it. I'm a huge, uh, huge fan of The Flash. Yeah, I love The Flash, uh, but his portrayal in the movie was stupid. Yeah, the whole thing was really dumb. I love Black Panther. I was, it was okay. To me, Black Panther was on the same level as Shazam. Aquaman I liked. Aquaman was good. Doctor Strange was good right Toby agreed Aquaman I liked from DC I think Aquaman was the best one they put up and Doctor Strange was good I've never watched uh, Doctor Strange is it worth it yeah watch Doctor Strange it's a good, good show very good show the worst superhero movie in my opinion was Green Lantern <laughs> I think Green Lantern was a masterpiece compared to Wonder Woman because the dialogue was funny some of it the CG was crap and some of the other stuff was crap but it was better than Wonder Woman how about Ant-Man and Wasp I haven't seen Ant-Man and Wasp yet uh, the worst super I was surprised at how good that was and Deadpool Deadpool was fantastic for sure both one and two right yes Doctor Strange was great do you use the uh, investing app no I have again I was doing this stuff 20 years ago what oh no Aquaman was the movie uh, Aquaman the movie was good but the character is bad he comes across as some idiot jock uh, to a certain degree the movie was good the movie was good uh, I didn't think of him as an idiot jock because he, he still portrayed an intelligence right even though he jumped into things stupidly right 
There was a certain level of intelligence there. Yeah, I love the R-rated stuff. Chicho said WW was worse than Green Lantern. Yeah, in my opinion. I, I didn't detest Green Lantern. I thought it was stupid. Wonder Woman, I detested. I didn't like it. And I like Wonder Woman. They brought a 200-year-old long dead long dead man back to life in japan a few years ago the joker and suicide go like a violent version of robin williams on cocaine wearing makeup with a silent slight touch of some mysterious homosexuality and tattoos on his forehead what disturbed what was it disturbed or something no damaged what were you doing otc I don't know what it was. X Men First Class is an amazing superhero movie. Yeah, the first X Men movie was really good. Probably best X Men movie. Yeah. I dabble in uh, FX uh, options. Fixed FX options. Fixed options. Uh, I, I did lots of calls and puts and straight out buying things. Uh, you know, trying to manage portfolio for someone to get yield and uh, just different levels, right? Which was worse, Daredevil or Green Lantern? Uh, Daredevil. Except Bullseye. Bullseye in Daredevil? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. By giving birth to his genes. Can we do a breakdown of why you don't like Wonder Woman? The dialogue was horrendous. Mark, the, the, like the dialogue was horrendous. The other one, her acting was this like when she was eating ice cream this is fantastic her eyes frown when she was angry her eyes frown the when she was happy her eyes frown when she was acting in love her eyes frown like there was no no range in the acting whatsoever beside the awful one the villains were like the, they it was i like i would I would do an analysis on it uh, but I have no desire to watch that thing again like I'll never watch that again obvious sexist dialogue it was crazy it was crazy the dialogue was horrendous over-the-counter oh OTC yeah on the NATAC bulletin board right I did some of that as well I did I did the full range really except uh, uh, I didn't do any forex. I've never done any forex. I know about it. Uh, I didn't do any bonds really. I did mainly Wall Street, over the counter, uh, pink pink sheets, straight up in that um, what do you call it? Nasdaq, uh, Dow, Chicago options, the whole shebang. The Wolverine was yeah. The Wolverine movies were really good, all of them really. Logan was hard to watch. The last one it was good. I liked it. X-Men Apocalypse, you liked it. The movie, it was okay. It was, it could have been so much better. OTC is over the counter, phone-based trading, which is primarily used for foreign exchange or derivatives. Is it just uh, for uh, foreign exchanges? I'm going to foreign exchanges, I did derivatives on it. Parallels. A fart <laughs> <laughs> Parallax <laughs> That's funny. Green Goblin. What do you think about Watchmen? Love Watchmen. Love Watchmen. Should we list some comics on eBay? I gotta take pictures of these guys. Gang, I'm gonna take some uh, pictures of these things and uh, try to get them up and try to grade these. And I have to set something up here because the sun is in. Uh, so I'm gonna set up a little blocker here. I mean, Logan was hard to watch because it was so emotionally charged and heart-wrenching to see Xavier. Like, yeah, hard to watch on that level for sure. Like, compare Logan, the dialogue, the emotional impact of the movie, the acting, the 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 scenery, and the, and the way it was directed and the mood of it. Compare that to Wonder Woman. The dialogue is like listening to again like an eight-year-old talk versus an intellectual conversation between people who have had traumatic experiences right uh, 
the scenery it wasn't just CG and slow motion well there was a bit but it's just totally different I love Quicksilver's portrayal in Days of Future Past and Apocalypse it's awesome especially his uh, solo mo scenes yeah it was a masterpiece and so gritty yeah Logan was phenomenal the Apocalypse could have been way better I didn't watch Logan because uh, because an idiot spoiled me the whole they couldn't have spoiled it great lasagna watch it you'll love it it's great it's great yeah now tech is the way forward before all trading but FX is still use OTC primarily in London due to being uh, the Asian and US time zones and due to the nature of doing features and swaps etc to agree on best rates OT, OTX it should be OTC OTC uh, had also been most common for FX forex trading but back in the 80s derivatives were massively yeah that's where it was at let me set this up we gotta get at least the doomsday stuff up. Oh, let's do this. Let's move this over. Let's see. Hell the message. Patrick Stewart. Uh, saying fuck you I'm gonna allow that for sure Patrick Stewart saying Patrick Stewart saying F you Logan crack me up every time yeah fantastic movie I'd watch Logan again and again it was really good take a look at this game I'm gonna show you let's see bring everything out turn on the camera thing sad as fuck him being dragged about though and them dying don't give spoilers don't give spoilers they released it in black and white too the logan movie really okay what are we doing oh yeah let me show you the angle so i'm going to show you the comic so we're going to grade this together have you seen the series westworld yeah fantastic the Japs want to do something similar, yeah. How Westworld, the next season should be starting, or did it end? It didn't end. I thought they were gonna kick it up again. Let me change the angle. Here's this guy. The audio mute me to avoid the spoiler. <laughs> Good. Look at look at this. This one, just to let you know, oh, you're not seeing me right now. So take a look at this. Let's see if we can show the pics. Let's see. I wonder if you can see it. There's a little bit of no cracks in it, but there's some spine stress. See that reflection right there where the sun is shining? A little bit of spine stress, right? It's not even a spine stress, it's like. Let me take this off. So if I do this, the last one we sold, this one was a beautiful copy. Okay, so there's a couple places where there's a little bit of mesmerizing. Hello, gang. Hello, T. Seek. Seek. QC warrior the QC warrior so that's that and there's a little bit of yeah let me see if I can show it to you this too if it's been flattened down hard for a long time maybe just opening the front page for the first time would have uh, would have even stressed it but you you'll know about that more. yeah so check it out and they I don't I don't keep my comics on top of each other they're all sitting uh, what do you call it 
um, vertically, right? And I don't pack my boxes so there's nothing to remove. I leave enough jiggle room in the, in the boxes. Not that they're slanted, but they're sitting up straight, right? Okay, let me show you this one too. Let's see, Let's see if we can see it. See the top? Uh, let's see. See this part? Oops, where are we? My finger's taking it out of focus. Okay, so I'm going to point to it. It's around here, right? See that? Okay. The edges are sharp. Let's bring this up. Let me move these guys back a little bit. Uh, let me change this up. I was a little late starting and I was trying to. I'm just moving the rest of the books over so the sun is not hitting them. flip it I'm gonna check the back as well okay the back is sweet the back is very sweet the edges are sharp the spine is fine so there's no cracks on the spine so this guy would give let's take the pictures I did give this guy 9.2, 9.4, right? 9.4 on the high end, 9 point, dented 0.2 out of 10. So you deduct 0.2. Is that what you're saying? So if it was a 10, it'd go down to 9.8, right? This thing had two, it's not even, there's no cracks in them, right? What do you think about the ethics of Westworld? Would you be a tourist there uh, would I be a tourist there uh, not if I thought uh, they were aware right Then it'd be so hard to catch the little like what should we call those in the listing? A little bit of spine stress. How do we capture that in the camera? How do we capture that in the camera? Nah. Chief, I'm saying 0.2 overall, 0.2 out of 10 overall. <laughs> Lions, this makes me want to start being good at something, caring for something, a hobby of some sort. A hobby, I highly recommend picking up some kind of hobby for sure. How do we capture that? I need a little bit of. Is that going to show? We're just gonna give it a rating and people should know, right?
too short. What phone is that? This is uh, an LG. I, I don't even use it as a phone. I got an old school phone that I use. I'm just using this as a camera. Someone gave it to me. They bought a new phone. <laughs> so <laughs> Hilarious. It's great being so caring. It is fun. Oh, I need my... Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put these guys... I'm gonna tear off some of these and put the grade on the back. calling this let's just call it a 9.2 okay I'm not even gonna give it a 9.4 I don't want someone to think that this is uh, you know get disappointed when they get it right? so let's go to 9.2 let's just put the sticky there so we got a 9.2 And then for these guys, by the way, if you guys want to know, back in the day when they released these books, this is uh, because it was four Superman titles, right? So this was Superman, Man of Steel, and the story arc followed in this triangle here that you see. So this is number 41, and then the story from number 41 would go to number 42, right? And this was just Superman straight up. And then here is 43, and this is The Adventures of Superman. Right? And then here is 44, right? There it is. And this is Action Comics. And then it went back to Superman, Man of Steel, which is 45, which is the first full appearance of Doomsday, which was fantastic. They organized it for you, right? Right now, it's just chaos. Like, they re restart everything and you know it's just becomes crazy it's crazy sorry if i'm missing on the chat um i just want to get these guys a sweet bro i'm tempted to buy a, a cheaper phone <laughs> with no features apart from text yeah like i don't i just have text like i just like i don't even i don't talk on the phone if i want to call anyone if i have to call anyone i use Gmail is free calling 21 can in the United States, right? So I'm like I like email person Greetings dr. P greetings and blessings don't come off the field until my uniform pop, 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 pop. okay conversations are going so let's check out this one superman superman oh this one's a beautiful copy this was absolutely beautiful look at that This one's a beautiful copy. Let me show you this one. Yeah, those are my crystal collection. Check out this one. All right. Here, let me line this up so you see it on the edge. See that? Beautiful copy. Like there's no dance or anything, no stress. Let's take a picture of this and then we'll flip it and we'll see what, uh, what the back looks like, but it should look fine.
flip on it. This one is a new board. Nice copy. Very nice copy. I'm going to give this a 9.6, 9.8. Okay. Lord, how are you doing? How is life? Let's put this guy in his bag and board. Tape it up. Beautiful copy. I'm going to give it a 9.8. Not even 9.6. Oh, yeah, I was going to mention I was talking with someone today at the comic book store when we went in uh, to grab our books, right? And he has a beautiful collection. He's set up his stuff. He's got pictures. Why not? I don't give anything a 10, to tell you the truth. Like, I don't give anything a 10. Because, one more. <laughs> I, I could give it a 10, and then if someone buys it, and when they get it, if they notice a little bling that I didn't notice, which I don't think there is, but if I didn't notice, they would say, oh, it's not a 10. I'd be like, dude, what? <laughs> It, like it would be a 10 I, but personally I don't give anything a 10 ever I don't, I don't even give anything 9.9 .9, right I'm just going to put 9.8 plus right but I was talking with someone like a pretty hardcore collector uh, that he sends books to CGC and stuff like this and we laughed about you know CGC grading because I don't have faith in it he doesn't have faith in it and he told me he had an issue of something, I forget what the comic was. He had a copy, oh, this is a beautiful copy. He had a copy of something that he sent in that had a crack like this on the spine where the, where the staple was, like this big. And it had multiple other cracks on it and stuff like this. And he got it back, CGC graded 9.2. And he goes, dude, when I sent it in, myself, him talking, he said he graded it at 7.5 and he got it back at 9.2, right? So people pay a crazy amount of money for CGC graded stuff. 
because they assume that is accurate that is not 100 percent accurate okay i personally like buying raw copies if i can get a cgc graded as you know i only have like eight cgc graded books that i recently bought in the last two three years uh, but it is what it is right this is a beautiful copy look at this thing phenomenal sunlight beautiful color beautiful actually let's take a pics of it in the front and then we'll list a bit tired right now it's 12 20 here and i had a long day oh lord yeah it's late for you guys uh sorry about that by the way i was trying to start this thing earlier but i was busy i sent off a couple of packages will you be selling them in auction or buy now auction but i'm gonna s put a look minimum price i don't start at one dollar what what i'd be willing to sell it for is the minimum and then some of the stuff is going higher intelligent blueberry how are you doing You guys want to see how I do a flip? Don't worry about it, brother. Just glad I made it. Nice. Here, let me let me show you how I do the flip, just in case. I've shown it to you guys before. Might as well. So, I take a board, go through the spine area, right? Lift it up, and then put another board on top, and just flip it, right? This is the older board. We'll put it there. We'll take a picture of this. see what the back looks like close up Give this one 9.8 plus. Oh, did I put the sticky on the other one? I think I did. Oh, yeah. Let's put a plus on it. 9.8 plus. There. And on this one, we're going to put a 9.2 plus. Because it is 9.2, 9.4. It's 9.4. I should be listing this as 9.42, but oh well. 9.2 plus and this one's 9.8 plus let's lift this up put this in a bag Thank you. 
9.8 plus. For some reason, this is the one that's selling for the most from the cameo appearances of Doomsday. I don't know why. Uh, we're getting multiple bits on. As far as I'm concerned, this is the first cameo appearance of Doomsday, right? As far as I'm concerned, this should be the most expensive one, right? But, for some reason, this is the one that's getting the most action when it comes to bidding. The portal moment when they all show up still gives me chills. Say, man, I still cry when Tony dies. <gasps> spoilers, 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 spoilers. Let's crack this open. I give this one 9.4. It's got a couple of the pressure points, I guess. I don't, I don't even know what to call them. Right. Oh, I should be taking pictures of this. So let's take pictures of it first. And the board for this is like brand new. Nice. So let's take a couple of pics. Or a few more pics than a couple of pics. Yeah, come on. Can you hear? They're still still doing construction. Casey, how you doing? Dropping by for Casey. Thanks for the tool link. Nice. That sound, classic tool, man. Classic tool. Phenomenal sound. I'm gonna look at the back. I'm gonna look at the back too. Let's check out the back.
we're going to give this one 9.4, 9.6, okay? Because that's what it is. What sort of music do you listen to, Chicho? Any favorite bands? Yeah, I have a few. I have a few. Right now, I'm uh, on my MP3 player. Um, I have Miles Davis going, John Coltrane going, uh, Scars on Broadway going, Nujabaz going. I got some hardcore old school hip hop. got what else I got I got a couple of other things I gotta load on some uh, Thornelius Monk on there I like going to electronic shows uh, uh, festivals So 9.4, 9 9.6. 9 what this guy? First full appearance of Doomsday. spine stress whatsoever on this, right? Nine point eight it is. Okay, we're gonna take some picks. Take some pics. I'll change the angle so you see. Ever heard of the singer artist Stromy? He's from Belgium and makes great. No, I don't think I have. Stromy. Link some of the music on Discord, uh, Lord, in our music folder. Definitely listen to it. I love the variety of music we're getting on. Uh, just sample on Discord. Flip it. 
9.8. No problem, no sir. Belgian music can be both Dutch or French spoken because we speak both. 9.8. Let's give it a 9.8 plus. And one thing with uh, CGC grading that we talked about today, uh, just as collectors in the in the store was um, like CGC grades older comics more leniently than newer comics, right? So nine point four on an older comic comic might only be a eight on a newer comic, which is ridiculous in, as far as I'm concerned, right? As far as many people are concerned, I think. I love this issue, really. This Justice League issue with the uh, second, I guess, full appearance of Doomsday. It might even be the first. It's the first time Doomsday is called Doomsday, right? And the story takes place before that. I don't know. I gotta read the whole thing again. You enjoy the Smurfs or Tintin comics for sure, and uh, not the Smurfs comics. But I like the Smurfs concept, but the stories aren't that great. Both made here in tiny belt. Smurfs is from Belgium. Tintin, my oldest lord. My oldest comic books that I have in my collection that have stayed with me the longest is Tintin. And they're from Iran, the Farsi, the Persian edition. And someone told me those are extremely rare. I didn't know, but I, I kept those. I brought those with me from Iran. Uh, and I put out a video. If you do Chicho Tintin, the, you'll find a video showing you the tinting collection that I have. Nice copy. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful copy. Wow, look at the letter on this thing. <laughs> I like cracking open books and all of a sudden, ah, oh, Casey, thank you, brother. Thank you. Cracking open comics and finding like a beautiful copy. Right. So nice. Okay, let's put that guy there. Let's take pics of it. Give us a such a nice call. Why not a ten? We can't give it a ten. We give it a nine point eight. I don't even know what a ten is. Like, what is a ten? 
9.8 it is 9.8 I'm going to let my iPad die so I can get some sleep it's late here so good night and thanks for the stream I always enjoy the conversation awesome awesome lions star lions star lions awesome lions thanks for popping by I hope you have amazing dreams Hollywood has taken the Spurs and absolutely raped them same thing with uh, what do you call it? I guess Winnie the Pooh. Too bad Winnie the Pooh got sold to Disney. Right. I have no idea the Smurfs were from Belgium. I love the concept. Hate what they put out. Not hate, but pardon my French. The original Belgian comics had beautiful stories and had life lessons in them for children. Really, that's like Winnie the Pooh, man. Don't sell your stuff to Hollywood. Don't sell to Hollywood. This is a 9.8. Actually, I needed to grab. Because I totally forgot. So we got the Doomsday picks. Uh, I gotta check one thing. Ichicho, happy to be here. Intrepid, how are you doing? How's life? Let me check one thing, because we just sold a Gogo -Go Boy uh, number three, and we got Gogo -Go Boy number one, and Gogo -Go Boy number two on the Ash Camp, but we don't have a Gogo -Go Boy number three. So I'm gonna go grab a Google -Go Boy number three because I need to have that up there as well. I want to make sure I have those books up because I know there's people that are looking for them. Uh, fun fact: the first official draft of the Big Bang Theory was made in Belgium. What? Got to the great lasagna. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the stream, Chicho. Have a nice day. You too. You too. You too. I don't know what, how long we've been up, but we gotta get these books up. Up time. I don't know if we're gonna get Batman's junk up or not. Hour and a half, what's going on? I'll be back in like one minute. Someone just bought this one yesterday. Google boy number three. The bag is bored in here, so we're going to keep the board. Let's take a look at this. They're beautiful copies. It's too bad about the staples, but actually, this one is a staple of us, too. Yeah, the staple of Rusty on this one, too. But I'm going to take pics. Uh, for oh yeah what do you call it uh, Lord are you a mod now I think uh, I appointed you but I don't know if it went through Casey uh, well I'm still not a mod on this course you're not I asked a few days ago uh, today Lord have you been there today on discord if you go there today I don't I think I made you a mod by appointing you I don't know if not, it's not a point it's give it a roll um, Casey will know Discord a lot better than I. Like, Casey's the one that told me about Discord and I went on Discord. Yeah, I just checked. Chicho has done it now. Yeah, nice. Welcome to Discord modding, Lord. Thanks, thanks for checking into it, Casey. Focus. Focus. 
such a hard time focusing on the black with the glare. They're still so shiny, you get a reflection off of them. I just sent one of these off today. Okay, we're gonna do a flip on this. I'll change the angle again. Make it dynamic. And all the, almost all of them, on the mermaid stuff, I'm giving him a 9, 9.2. They're probably better, but. I'm not sure what the exact grading thing is for uh, Rusty. I think it's supposed to knock them down by anywhere between 0.5 to 1.5 or something. glasses on. Here's Google Boy by the way. With his costume. By the way, a lot of the lettering in this, I, I ended up doing because, where is it, in the center of this, center is over here, there it is, nice, and use comic, okay, let's see it. I can get it to focus. Come on, focus. Where are you? I can't even see it. Let me see it from here. Let's see. Come on. the best we can do. That's the best we can do. Nice copy. Let's throw this in there. So, now we're gonna take pictures of Batman's junk. Now we're gonna take pictures of Batman's junk. Change the angle. Okay, let's put this here. And let's put these guys here. Okay. Should we do? Let's do. These are. Uh, I don't have to change the bag on board for these because these are. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, brand new bags and boards, the magazine size, right? So, and these came out like a few months ago, so they're all brand new. Hey Chicho, how's it going? 
Eduardo, how are you doing? How's life? Hope you're doing well. Jim Lee cover. Should we change the angle? Let me change the angle so you see what's going on here. Eduardo, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you for that. Let's change this up. And these are like mint copies. Like really. They're beautiful copies. I picked these up uh, just when they came out. Do this. Let's put this here. Let's see if it's going to give it a better color. It's the best we can do. Do this. Beautiful copy, so let's check it out. This is like nine point nine ten. Can we give it a ten? We can't give it a ten. Tony the Tiger, how are you doing? How's life? Welcome to another live stream. Nice. Beautiful copy. Beautiful copy. So let's flip it. And throw it back on the board. This one, you know what? We're going to give this one 9.8. Reboot, are we talking about reboot the animation? 
reboots. If we're talking about reboots, that was a brilliant animated series. First uh, CG animated series, I believe. I got a feeling that's not what we're talking about. Cash grabbing Disney is going wild. Oh, Home Alone has been he Home Alone has been rebooted. Jesus, <laughs> too funny. I think that's as funny as the Home Alone reboot is going to be. Hearing about the Home, uh, Home Alone reboot. Bit of thing here. Check it out. I don't know if you can see it right there. All right. So we can't give this one a nine eight. The other one is clean. Yeah, this one's clean. So good. I actually like finding a little flaw. It gives a reason to kick it down a notch and not worry about things, right? Okay. So for that, we'd give it a nine point. So, so far, we're gonna check out the back as well. I should take a picture of that. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Let's see if it's gonna work. Focus. Focus. Focus, please. It doesn't even show me. Maybe it'll show when I flip it. Let's check it out. Let's check it out.
me see if I can show it to you guys. Let's put this guy here. Let's see if you can see. See that there? Little bit of pressure. Top there. Right. I'm trying to see if it, you can see it or not. Focus it. Come on. Focus. It's too close. Too close. Pull away. Pull away. Anyway, it's there. It's there. Okay, we're going to have to flip this guy. We're going to give this one a 9 9.4. 9.4. 9.4, 9.2, 9.4. No, it's 9.4. too hard. Yep, 9.4. Just to be on the safe side. Where's our bag? There's our bag. Oh, that's not our bag. There's our bag. See, maybe they give it a 9.6, or we give it a 9.4. That'd be like bare minimum on it. Okay. Those are there. So we got how many books? Four, six, nine books. Nine more books we're going to list. Let's try this out. So you guys are going to hear a beep, 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 beep with the phone kicking in. Let's see this. How can you tell the rating? What key features make one rating stick out more than another? If it's a, if it's a perfectly clean book, right? And these were, right? Like the first one was a 9.810, right? With the Gemini variant. This last one we looked at was beautiful, perfect, except in the top there's a little squish. So there's a little squish. Some people might just say, okay, it's a 9.8, 9.6. But for me to be on the safe side, I'm giving it a 9.4 because I don't want anyone to go into this uh, misguided as to what it might be right and tell you the truth i i really actually dislike all this rating system i think it's a scam personally uh with uh, with cgc and whatnot uh, i really do i think it's it's crazy scam but it is the nature of the beast, right? So, I personally, oops, I don't wanna crash the computer. There we go. Did you hear a little beep beep? Nice. Okay, cancel that, cancel that. Finally, I caught a stream. Dramatu, how are you doing? Welcome to a live stream. Okay. What we're about to do right now, I'm going to transfer a whole bunch of pics from the phone that I've been taking pics with to our folder. And then we're going to upload all the pics and list the... What are these pics? Transfer these guys over. 
I'm going to list the stuff on eBay. Selling. eBay. Okay, so it all goes there. Move. Okay, that stuff is being transferred. Cool, cool, cool. Time for a little tea. And then we're going to open up the eBay page and take a look at what we got listed here. Okay, first thing, first thing I want to relist is the Coco Boy. Um, I want to get the Coco Boy up, Coco Boy number three up. So, da, 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 sold. Okay, cool. So what are we doing? I'm gonna go on the folder. Google boy. I'm just gonna call it. Um, let's create a new folder. Set three. Because we already got Google boy number one for set three up. Boop. And we're gonna grab the Google Boy picks. Where is the Google Boy stuff? There's the Google Boys. Google Boy, all the way to here. Let's bring these up and kick them over there. Okay. And uh, name it. List it August. Listed. August okay, so we're gonna go. Apologies if I'm not gonna check the chat, it's just listing this stuff is there's a few things you gotta make sure you're doing correctly, otherwise it's it does wacko stuff. So I gotta kill the pigs. And then we're gonna upload from the computer. We're gonna go to Google Boy, set three. And I'm gonna load up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I can only upload twelve picks. So I'm gonna upload these guys. Eleven. I'm gonna upload one of the rusty staple pick you can't even see it so it's that is we're gonna upload point let it upload new bot what's the new bot casey we got a new bot going on i have about 200 comic books that i bought from an auction for about 40 pounds they aren't all in the best condition but they were some I never thought I'd get a hold of, like Doctor Who comic. Ah, oh, nice. The original Doctor Who comics go for crazy amount, right? Crazy amount. <laughs> it's not like text search. Thank you. Thanks. Do a chicho. Uh, if you want, do a chicho uh, search with System of Down. You'll find a review of System of Down's music that I've written. I heard that one before in traffic. What is the difference between a cult and a three-year-old chicho? I don't know. I don't know, I guess. Okay, there's the first one. Pick. Where is this guy? There's that one. That's correct. That's correct. Let's bring the bottom right over. Bottom left over. Give it the angle. Do the back, do the back. And then we got top, top, bottom. Oh, those ones are sorted already. Nice. And then that's that. Uh, 9.0. Yeah, 9.0. We're just going to give it a 9.0, gang. Oh, i got to cut and paste something on here. we got to cut and paste the shipping. we got to cut and paste that in there because it wasn't there before. We're gonna do that. We're gonna kill that. 
Okay. Uh, please wait for a vinyl invoice. That is correct. Grading, summary, shipping, qualified, grading. I should move the grading up. I gotta move the grading up. Oh, is this gonna work? Okay. Do that. Bits, less, that worked. Do that, do that. Shipping, story, tracking. Uh, shipping, tracking. I should put the tracking beside the shipping, right below the shipping. Okay, okay. Uh, is that tracking, story, summary? First of all, BGT, we'll keep it as 9.0, grading, shipping, got that going, got that going, got that going, okay. And do that, do that, do that. I'm just gonna do a preview on it just to make sure it's all okie dokie. Ah, oh, it's got the maker offer, eBay, what a scam, like, seriously. It automatically puts the maker offer for some reason. And I've clicked it off. Okay, on, off. We'll see. List, see if it shows up. Okay, preview, view. Nice, it's not there. Go, go, go is up. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, too much spaces, that's okay. We're not going to mess with it anymore. So here's our first listing that we put up for today. Boop. And there's Goku Boy. Boxing chess? I've never played boxing chess. Watch how the West ends. Martini and I on YouTube. What? Good day, sir. Good day to you too. Kelvin Storm. How are you doing? I haven't seen you for a while. Kelvin Storm. Okay, so we got that up. Now we want to list. So Google Boy is up. Then we're gonna go with Man of Steel, number seventeen. And I gotta look at the grades that we gave. Right? So let's just put this here. Man of Steel. Let's put these in order. Oh, we're gonna list them. pressure on them and then we'll put them up in the port. So Man of Steel, we gave it a rating of 9.2 plus, right? So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna go sell similar, okay? Man of Steel. We're gonna go to folder, Superman, Superman, where's our Superman, Superman, set one, we're going to go set two, set two, listed, August 2019, I got some serious organizing to do with this stuff, okay, let's grab them all and put them there, that way they're all in the same place. All the way there. Set to, and they're all going there. Okay. So we gotta kill these guys, and we're giving this one. The last one we sold, it went for forty, and we had a grade at nine point six, nine point eight. This one we're giving a grade of near. What should I say? Nine point two. Nine point two plus. So we're given a grade of near mint, mine is near mint, okay? So we're gonna come here, and near mint, mine is near mint. And it's unread copy, oh, we don't have enough space. Mana steel number 17, let's just go near mint minus. Near mint minus, 9.2, and I'm gonna go 9.2 plus. 
More than 9.2. And then we're going to add the pictures. We're going to go to Superman. Superman. Superman set 2. Oop. And we're going to go these guys. That should be 10 picks. Coming up. Let the pictures load. Blink. And then we want the top. Where is it? There it is. No, that's the bottom. There it is. Let's rotate these, put them in order. There's the bottom. There's that bottom. Come on, rotate. And then we got this bottom. Rotate. That one's okay. Uh, we want the. Here, we're gonna put this guy here too. That's good. Hey, where's the full back pick? Oh, there it is. Nice. We got the full back pick. We got the top left back pick. We got the top right back pick. We got the bottom right back pick. And the bottom left back pick. Blink. Okay, 9.2, 9. Point two, nine point. And we're gonna go near mint minus. Doop. Near mint minus 9.2 plus C pick for yourself. Really, that's all I'm gonna leave it at. And I have to change the shipping and tracking. Shipping and tracking info on this because I modified it a little bit. Shipping and tracking, paste. Cool. So 9.2 does a cameo. Uh, still, this is a beautiful unread copy. Let's just call it an unread copy. Unread copy is beautiful, but we said beautiful unread copy for 9.6, 9.8. For 9.2 plus, we'll just say beautiful copy. On red boink and what do we got what do we got and we're going to change the price because this is a 9.2 we're going to change this to $20 okay and no offers allowed preview do a little preview Looks good, looks good, looks good. And we're gonna list it. Boink. Okay, let's do a little view on this. Okay, and here's the next one. Apologies if I'm not reading the chat game. But, so I'm gonna file this. That way I know uh, they're going into the section where uh, I've listed stuff, they're already up, right? So let me do this. This one is 9.8 plus. And this is a beautiful, beautiful copy. And we're gonna go sell similar. Where is the last one we sold? Hey, where is it? Oh, I gotta see all. Oh, come on. Where is it? Back the sold. So there we go, that's what we want to be. Sold, sold, sold. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you with we? 
wave rider there we go so last one we sold sell similar okay we graded it at what did we grade it at we graded at 9.6 9.8 this one we're grading at 9.8 straight up 9.8 plus so this is near 9.8 is near mint mint right so i'm gonna near mint mint i'm gonna put 9.9.8 plus okay and we're gonna have to load on a new pix and we're gonna go load, load on oh for the superman i think i have to change the grade on that in the list part of it so we're gonna upload these guys and we're gonna go active I think let's see what does the description say on it yeah I gotta change that revise I gotta change this guy the pull down stuff I forgot to add we're gonna put it near mint minus actually we're gonna go like this near mint minus 9.2 plus near mint minus near mint that's what we're gonna do 2nd oh that's the bottom guy that guy goes there and that guy goes there right yep that's it so this is 9.8 let's go okay 9.8 plus near mint mint Those are legit, and then I have to change shipping. So we're gonna grab the shipping and all this stuff and copy it and paste it here. That should do it there. And 20. I'm gonna list this at 20. Let's list it. Preview. 
It's a beautiful cup, but we can't list it at 20. It's got to be 30. 30. Okay, let's do a little check. Let's go to comic. Let's go see what it's going for. But it should be for more, but who knows, right? Let's see what is listed on my comic shop. We'll go with that. Best you can find on comic shop is very fine. Let's go to eBay. Let's see what it's selling for. Uh, Nine point eight plus. But let's see what it's gone for. Point six is going for eighty five graded. Man, there aren't too many of these things around, are there? Not even. Crazy. Okay, nine point eight graded is going for listed for one hundred thirty. Huh? What's the raw stuff going for? Crazy, so hard to find raw now. Insane. Okay, we got a list at 30. 20, it just doesn't cut it. And here's the second one, or the third one, I guess. Oop. Chicho. Oh, that's me being alive. Uptime. How long have been? Two hours and 20 minutes. Yikes. <laughs> Rated a 10 Chicho, I dare you. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm in a wrong way. I'm in a bad place. Are you into watching? Watch this Chicho. I posted a tag for you. The caliber for automatic on my page. Well, five grand. Selling for three grand. Damn. I sold some. Uh, we had some old watches. Um, I forget what watch it was. It was a really old one that we had. That uh, it was. It was collectible. And I sold that on eBay like four years ago or something. Five years ago maybe someone from Germany bought it chain in the water okay so Mr. Hezekiah how are you doing welcome to the live stream so that one's listed next we got we got this one adventures of Superman 496 so adventures of Superman 496 there we are and we graded this 9.8 9.8 plus this one is going to be listed at 30 as well okay let's go 9 point mint and let's put mint 9.8 plus point let's kill these guys And all the way to Boink. Load those guys up. Let the pick 
Axe a little bit and then a Ranger. So we'll put that guy there. That guy there. That guy there. That guy there. Wait a second. Oh, that guy there. That guy there. Back cover. Back top. Oh no, this guy first. And then. Big guy over here, and then we got that guy, and then we got that guy, and then we got that guy, and then we got that guy. Cool. Boink. We're gonna go 9.9.8 .9 plus. Near mint, mint, mint. Boop. Cool. This is a beautiful unwrapped copy. We're gonna go 9.8. Mint, mint, 9.8 plus. I should be adding 9.9 .9 to these as well, but we leave it alone. We're going to copy the shipping and grading here. Come on, grab those. Wait a second. Oh, yeah, shipping and tracking. Shipping and tracking. And we're going to paste this thing. Boom. That's done. And we're listing this thing for 30 as well. No offers. Preview. List it. this occur I gotta check this out up time my god been enjoying the ASMR too much me too me too I chilled out Sorry about the sound, everyone. I just get so sorry. I know I thought his house was falling. <laughs> My heart. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, what time was it? Uh, 2.25. I gotta make a note for myself. Loud noise at 2.25 in the title of this upload. Right? My God. My God. I'm gonna crack it open though. Gotta make sure. Haha, <laughs> five minutes ago I was admiring that laugh. <laughs> Isn't that class? It's very tall. I hope it doesn't fall. Casey! <laughs> Did you send us the the wind the wind vibe? Let's check it out. I gotta check this out. <laughs> I have powers behind. 
You got superpowers, Casey. Use it. What is it? The what is it? With uh, with power comes. There must also come. With great power, there must also come great responsibility. It was so nice and chill for two and a half hours. So nice and chill for two and a half hours. We had a loud noise. In the upload, people are not gonna appreciate it. <laughs> they might not find it as, as funny as we did, unfortunately. Gave everyone a heart attack, eh? Yikes, Chicho, I'm back, I missed you. Mark, it's always daylight where you are. <laughs> what times are you in? <laughs> I'm in Pacific time zone, brother. Pacific time zone. 9.4, 9.6. Casey, Casey's law. It's also the name of him, camera. Magic YouTube stream. Is it? No. Casey's law. Okay, what do we got? We got the next one we gotta load up. Or we gotta. Yeah, we gotta load up. True. List it. And we graded this one at 9.4, 9.6. So. 9.4 9.6 it's gonna go near mint mint 9.4 9 point oops, 9.6 hey 9.6 9.4 9.6 oh where'd it go Doink. near mint near mint plus let's do near mint near mint plus near mint do I have enough space to do it? Near mint plus. Yeah. Mash. And then we're gonna kill these guys. And then we're gonna go upload. Upload picks. Upload picks. Here. Okay. Mark, you missed a loud noise. How can a watch be so expensive? It must be made of precious jewels. Yeah, there are. Also, can you give a brief life story of what you have done in your life? You seem like the most interesting. <laughs> what I've done, I don't know if I'm the most interesting person, but I've dabbled in a few different things. Uh, one of my first jobs was in, well, uh, construction. I did lots of construction when I was in high school and stuff. I was an ice cream truck driver. One of the first jobs I got out of high school. That was fun. You'd be surprised. Uh, how many people of the opposite sex lay, would like to get a ride in an ice cream truck? <laughs> or you'd be surprised. Oh, how many people find it interesting to <laughs> try to pick up an ice cream truck driver? <laughs> so there is that. It was interesting. Uh, so I've done ice cream truck driving. This was 9.4, 9.6. Uh, we used to have a nine um nine uh, for a while we had a uh, what do you call it 900 dating service ran uh, <laughs> one of them was uh for armenians and iranians uh, we called it the uh, Armenian love connection <laughs> connection and the Persian love connection <laughs> I don't think I've ever mentioned or I might have mentioned we had a, I, had a, I ran a dating service 900 dating service I don't know just tried a few different things brother I help uh 
establish uh, three teams in the soccer league straight out of high school. That was super fun. Coached. Uh, that was, I don't know what my title was in the club. I have no idea. Can't remember. So we gave this one 9.49. We'll keep it at 20 bucks. Da, 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 da. What have we got listed? Um, okay, let me go to my eBay thing. Active. I did geophysics for sure. Geophysics. Geophysics was fun. Geophysics was amazing. Amazing, amazing. Um, let's do a little preview. A few other things. I sold cigars. Published comic books. List. Let's see. Nine point four, nine point six. Near mint, near mint plus. Oh, I put the make an offer in there. Oh, bugger. eBay. By the way, the people, uh, I've already started getting some feedback from my rating and stuff like this, and people have been really happy with the books. Uh, and a couple of people messaged me saying, these are beautiful books, they're like, what a deal. And they were, <laughs> the, the ones that they got, uh, they were a great deal, great deal. They could flip those around and sell them for more, that's for sure. Hopefully they don't, hopefully they keep them. But a couple of resellers have bought some of the books I've put up. Da -da 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 -da. This one's up. Here's the next one. Boink. <laughs> My wife was a sex line worker for a while. Nice. <laughs> Good evening, Chicho. For me, it's late in the evening, though. Nervous. How you doing? Nearly two in the night. Greetings from Germany. Greetings, brother. Greetings. We'll go back to couch and watch your stream silently. Awesome. Hope you fall asleep and have beautiful dreams. In the 80s in Glasgow, we had the ice cream wars. Did you? Being an ice cream truck driver was fantastic. Being youth, it was, it was fun. I had a great time. You could make good money. You could make good money. I published my own. Uh, I it was my publishing company. I published uh, independent comic books. If you go on my eBay page, you'll see anything listed as Mermaid Publications. That's what I published. Okay. Uh, Superman, Man of Steel, number eighteen, nine point eight plus. Okay. You sometimes finish up pages work for yeah and i did i did lettering i did i'm not an artist <laughs> try to you know, brutal did a little inking little finishes and stuff did it for mortal coil number two and it was came out brutal but we still went to print because it was the only one that diamond it was crazy it was crazy uh, but the lettering i did for Google -Go boy the lettering i was doing for printing moth and uh comic um, thing uh, comic fonts I was printing on making bubbles and then putting them on uh, this is 9.8 plus this is near mint mint near mint mint boink I'm gonna put T here boink and we're gonna upload the pics it's so easy when you're selling similar because a lot of the fields are already filled in, which is really good. Open. Load the picks. Okay, I'm gonna rotate this guy. And then this guy, we gotta rotate. Load it, load it, rotate it. 
rotates. This guy and then rotates. This guy rotates. We got that guy, that guy, that guy. We need that guy over here. Oh yeah, we need this guy over here. Pop pop pa da 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 pop pop pa bum 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 bum. That's it. And that's that. And we're gonna go nine point eight nine point eight plus near mints 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 point. up the tracking price and I meant put a little thing here from last time wait um, I gotta send some invoices to people too I'm way behind on this stuff so we're gonna list this at uh, man, this beautiful copy man. <laughs> this is such a nice copy hold up let's see what it's selling for on my comic shop, Man of Steel, Man of Steel, number, Steel, number 18, number 18, let's see if it shows up right away, nice, so they got a 9, you know, the highest grade, they got a 9 listed at 32, I gotta list this at 30, we gotta start it off at 30, we got no choice in this. Could do a little search on uh, eBay as well. Here, yeah, let's do a little search on eBay as well. Why not? Why not? What's it being listed out on eBay? Oh, yeah, <laughs> 30 is like crazy cheap. You can't be 30 bad. Okay, let's see what it's selling for. listed at 30 we go 30 yeah let's go 30 I'm happy with 30 let's check it out I should be sending some of these to be graded, to CGC graded. Maybe we do that as well at some point. We'll grade them ourselves and then send them to be CGC graded, see what type of grade they get. Uh, and uh, <laughs> see how accurate CGC is or how accurate we are, right? Bye, Tony. Thank you for sticking around. I'm going to go now, Chicho. I need to be up in five hours. Oh no, catch you on the next stream. Catch you on the next stream. What's Chicho's most prized comic? I don't know. I don't know. 12 years ago was quite the experience. Oh yeah, Mark, the, the video from 12 years ago. It is quite an experience. Those are fun. Actually, they're all fun. wouldn't be here otherwise right I wouldn't be here otherwise 9.8 we gave this one we didn't put a plus on this one so we're gonna go sound similar we just gave this one a straight 9.8 near mint mint unread near mint mint 
We were given this one a 9.8. Boop. And we're going to kill these guys. And we're going to upload these guys and this guy. And we're going to go whoop. Upload it. Daredevil number one would be up there, I think. Uh, we did a reading for Daredevil number one. I bought that one. How much did I buy that one for? I bought it for around 400 or so, I think. Uh, the one we did the reading for. I forget how much I paid for it. Like 400 maybe. It's somewhere in my archives, I think. Uh, but it's probably going for well over a thousand now. So. But as far as uh, value, like what I think they're worth, like really, I love the books that I publish. Like the Google Voice stuff is super important as far as I'm concerned. Uh, crazy important. Uh, yeah, 9.8. We gave it a 9.8. Mint, 9.8. Beautiful and red copy. Unread copy, beautiful. Unread copy, real. Unread up top, real. Unread up top. Fine, 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 fine. Now we gotta copy that. Okay. We gotta give this one at least a fifteen. Nine point eight. I think this book is undervalued personally. Uh, Justice League. Uh, Justice League America 69. It's an important book. List. up as well so how many books we got active right now we gotta put batman's junk up as well all right <laughs> okay we're gonna find batman's junk and we're gonna copy this stuff down um so hold on let's put this in the money do you think you've spent on comics in your life if you had to get I don't know but the light green lantern more than their level <laughs> I like green lantern more than their double <laughs> he won't admit it but his prize comic is his daredevil number one yeah he likes to frame that one yeah I took it out of the frame though right I framed it and I took it out my EC comics I love my EC comics and we actually have to take the EC comics down I got one big frame with uh, six EC comics different EC comics from all of them from 1952 and I love those comics but one of the comics is slipped a little bit it's sideways so I have to reframe those uh, if I take them down I promised if I took them down we'd read them so when I'm ready to do the readings we'll probably take those down and I've been thinking about putting up the doomsday stuff what we just listed i have a set of my own into the frames and reading the ec comics possibly sending them to be graded there's like four of them that are really amazing condition how much money do you that i don't know how much tens of thousands i don't know for sure tens of thousands how much and how much are you willing to spend on certain comic books like is there a certain threshold where you won't spend on modern modern age books it all depends on the on the comic right i'm gonna head off folks casey thanks for popping by and hope you have a fantastic evening i know it's late for you guys where you are and will do will do is it the canadian site 
da, 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 da. I don't know what that's referring to, I guess. I had to look up Batman's junk after your video. I couldn't believe that. <laughs> so we gotta find that thing. So let's check it out. Batman, Batman, damn. Number one. Batman. So full set is selling for being listed for 140, right? So we've got to find. Oh, eBay search is ridiculous, right? Why is it searching just Canada? Silly. Dot com. Batman Dam number one. Uncensored black. DC black label. Uncensored. I don't even have grades on these, man. Let's see. There it is. First variant, first print, uncensored, black label. They, people haven't even listed the grades on these and the titles. Crazy. Okay. We're going to go to sell sold listings. Sold. Oh, check this out someone got an amazing deal oh my god look at this batman damn one two three hold on let's check it out it's got to be a reseller oh it's not even a reseller was it uncensored uncensored wow someone got an amazing deal on the stuff they got it for 35 dollars and then people are spending uh 60 50 cover a da, 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 da. okay so Jim Lee where's the grade on these it's crazy they don't even grading them and the titles weird 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 well we're gonna go this Batman then number one I'm gonna go list where is it point 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 oh come on Let's go back here, list an item. List an item. Yes. Okay, so. Go. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, eBay, you silly little bugger. What's the Batman Dam number one? Let's see what the years on it maybe the year is 2017 2000 sorry 19 come on can't even find it there it is 2018 okay cool 2018 so Let's see if eBay is going to be able to find that 2018. Oops, 2018. For some reason, I thought it was 2019. It can't even find it. Are you serious? What's going on? Batman Dan number one. Let's try it again. Come on, find it. find it oh, how could you not give me the option really eBay. okay let's do it this way I might be misspelling it let's copy and paste Boing. nope Crazy. Nope, not finding it. 2018. We'll try it one more time. Batman Band. Oh, come on. Batman Band. Number one. 2018. Go. Ah, oh, there we go. Hardcore. Ah, uh, there's.
there's a Jim Lee. Okay, let's list this one first. So one night. Hey. Oh, because this doesn't like it. Okay, cool. So hopefully the fields will be filled up okay. Nudity, rare. We don't want that. Uh, uncensored. First printing. That's what we want in the title. Batman Dam number one, DC. Black label. DC black. Black 2018 Unread Unread and This is Cover 9.4 Let's go 9.4 First print we want to put in there First print First, let's do it this way. First, print, and we want uncensored. Uncensored. Where is it? Unread. Uncensored. Unread. Near mint. And we're gonna load up the picks. I'm sorry if I'm not checking out the chat gang. Thinking about, have you ever lost your head, Chicho? Have I ever lost my head? Yeah, I've lost my cool, man. Many, many times. I don't know what comment before you said, oh, did you? Be cool. Yeah, Daredevil number one is up there, man. Daredevil number one for sure. Under reds. Black 2018 first print uncensored unread. To make uncensored capital uncensored. Let's make it all capital. Because we're not paying for anything extra bells and whistles, right? So we yell it. Boink. Oh yeah, I gotta put those in a, another folder, Batman folder. We need to create a Batman folder. We haven't sold any Batman. We haven't listed any Batman comics. Hey, eh? wow. We need to list some Batman comics. I guess we start with these ones. Batman. Boink. Batman. 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 Let's do this. Oh yeah, those are Batman, this is Spirit Man, Batman, boink, move in there, and let's load up the picks, how many picks we got, eBay, Batman, we got this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, oh, we can't load up all the picks, we can only load up 12, so we need the front, we need the angle, we need the back. And then we need... So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can't load up the fix that way, because it's like, here, you know what, I'll load up the spine ones. And which one are the spine ones? that one and that one right or that one that one and that one hold on a second that's that one is that one and where is it in that one there we go open okay let's bring these out and then
full back cover. Where's the full back cover? This is the full back cover. That's the let's rotate, rotate. Yep, that's the full back cover. And then we got the top guy. Put that guy there. And then we got the bottom guy. Let's put that one there. Oh yeah, we wanted this guy. And then we got this guy. Yeah, and then we got this guy. Does that show? Let's check it out. Does that show? It shows a little bit. We have to make a little note of it. Okay, so we're going to copy all this down. And we're going to post it here. Batman Certified Series. DC black label. That's what we're gonna call series DC black label. Yep. That's what we're gonna call it. Boink. What else we got? Issue number one. Book one. Book one. One. Number one. Book one. Number one. Um yeah, that's fine. So oh, come on. Ugh. Book one. Number one. Okay, that's good. And then we're gonna add this. So paste. Okay, now we're gonna put this in for here. That's man. And number one, book one, because that's what it's called. It's not really number one. DC Comics Black Label. First, oops, I better spell this stuff right. Label. First, print. Out of print, out of print, uh, uncensored, unread. Batman's junk reveal. That's what we're going to call it. Batman's junk reveal. Does that sound okay? <laughs> to make known. Batman junk reveal. Uncensored, unread. We're gonna bolt this. Bolt? Chicho, don't be sad or mad. Bye, I got to go. Oh! Calding Storm, thank you very much for popping by. Water's gone. Hey, Chicho, Spot of Tea, how you doing? By the way, Spot of Tea. I promised you go go boy set let me know where to send it okay now that I'm shipping stuff out I owe you a go go boy set okay why would he be mad bye 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 the okay what do we grade this we grade this 9.4 right so we said near mint near mint point Near mint 9.4. Near mint 9.4. And I'm gonna specify C picks for grade yourself. Note um, pressure, pressure mark top right. little bit of pressure crease on top right corner small pressure crease small pressure crease I just want to clarify so people don't think small pre sure small pressure it's 
small pressure crease. Crease. Uh, top spine. Top small pressure crease. I don't even know. Small top small pressure crease. Top. Mm -hmm. Top. Corner. Top. Top left corner. Corner, uh, fine. Very small. I'm gonna call it very small. Very small pressure crease. Top, top corner of spine. Please see fixed to the side. Great for yourself. Okay, that's good. Bam and then let's kill this. Doink, doink, doink. And this is cover A. So, who did the cover for this? I don't even know who did the cover for this. Jim Lee did the cover for the other one. Uh, art cover by, oh yeah, Brian Azzarello. Art and cover Lee Virgin. Virgin. Lee Vermijo. I need to put those on there. No, I'm not gonna bother putting those on there. Brian Azzarello, that's fine. Da, 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 what are we gonna list this at? Um, we're gonna start this at 50. Ah, 50 is damn cheap. To let it go at 50 Canadian. Are we willing to let it go at 50 Canadian? I don't know. Let me do another check. One other place. Batman. Band. Sure, Batman Band. Let's see if it shows up here already. Batman Band, yeah. Nice. Listing it as first first appearance of the Batman member. That's what they're calling me. <laughs> first appearance of the Bat member. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Jubilee variant. Apparel the first DC black label issue. It's the first DC black label issue. Cool. Actually, it is too. Uh, Canadian US. Let's go 60 Canadian. 60 Canadian because the other one we're gonna lift 60 Canadian. That's what we're gonna do No offer And that's Come on select Canada okay, post this is oversized. Oh, yeah, I gotta change it because it's oversized the shipping is gonna be a little bit more I'm charging 15 for shipping So I gotta say it here uh, 15 Shipping We'll still keep it as 20 to the UK and Europe. 20 is oversized. I haven't since it's more than 20. Okay, we're gonna change it to 25 for UK. I don't know what it's costing for New Zealand and Australia. Someone asked me how much for New Zealand and Australia and stuff. I don't know yet. I haven't shipped there yet. So once we get our first order, we'll have an idea of what it will be. Let's do a little preview. Cheer 50. Ah, thank you, Welsh player. Thank you for the cheers. Love the dear beard, my dude. Thank you very much. Where shall I send the address? Um, e either email it to me, uh, Spot of Tea, or message me on Discord. I, I know you sent me before, but I don't keep archive stuff just for privacy and stuff. I'll probably, it's probably still there. But just send it to me there, babe. Um, uh, spot of tea. Thank you for the Twitch uh, Prime sub as well, Welsh. Very much appreciated. And anyone that's followed the sub and I haven't caught, uh, thank you for the follows and sub. Uh, uncensored, unread, 9.4, 60, 15. Batman's junk reveal. That's good. That's good. Let's list it. 
list. Let's make sure it come out okay. View. First print, uncensored, unread. Very small pressure crease, top corner of spine. Okay, okay, that looks good. Yeah, I'll send you guys this one too, so you see it. You, you can blame Spot of T for me being here. Blame him or thank him? Spot of T, thank you for sending people our way. <sighs> Pleasure to have you, by the way. Pleasure to have you. So, hopefully it's there and we can... Good. So, we're going to sell similar to this, but this one's the Jim Lee variant, right? So, hopefully... And we're going to put Jim Lee variant on here. Jim Lee cover by Jim Lee Jim Lee variant Jim Lee cover Jim Lee cover oh, not enough space Jim Lee cover black label DC black Jim Lee oh we gotta take something out and the Jim Lee one we're grading it should be a 10 but we're grading this one as 9.810. This one I'm going to list at 100. Without a doubt. Um, okay, we need to create space. Uncensored. First print, unread. Wow, it's unread. We know it's unread. We know it's going to be first print, 2018. Black, DC black. Okay, we're going to take out black so we have more room. Jim Lee cover cover okay and it's going to be unread and it's near mint mint oh not enough room okay dc 2018 generally cover first print uncensored unread so what should we take out 2018 let's take out 2018 mint 9.810 mint 9.8 oops 9.8 let's check it out let's check it out it's beautiful you should be calling it a gem mint gem i'm just gonna call it mint gem gem 9.8 the 10 is not gonna fit in there oh we need one little oops sorry about the noise gang i just hit up hit the thing that you get uh the mic let's put a 10 in there 10 oh there's a thing does it work oh that worked nice no worries i'm talking to him in discord at the moment nice Actually, Welsh is having problems with his maths at the moment. This is perfect. Oh, really, Welsh? Math. Math is the easiest course you should take in school, brother. Because it's just builds from what you know already. Let's add this. Load up these picks and there we go there's that guy hey where'd that go if you need help let me know we can definitely do a math live stream uh, to help you out welsh okay i haven't done any math live streams for the summer because most of my students are on vacation and most people say they want to do math in the summer but most people don't want to do math during the summer <laughs> so I actually have like three students that I've been doing math with this summer which is rare which is rare a lot of people say no math in the summer um, so 
I think this is the other one. Yeah. But if you if you do need math help, let us know and we'll set up a live stream for math. I'll gladly do another live stream for math before school starts. And then during school we do we do uh, drop in math sessions. Uh, live stream. Where's the back? Where's the top? Where's the top? We want this one. Organize these picks. One more, and then we want that one. Cool, and then we want bottom. And then we want this one. And then we want this one. Wait a second, how come I got two? Oh, we got two of the back cover, so we don't need this one. Uh, that, that, that. Yeah, we don't need that one. Yeah. So we're going to go book one, year one. We're going to change this to 9.810 mint. Mint gem. Okay. Book one, Jim Lee. Jim Lee variant cover. First print, Batman's drum. Beautiful mint. Oh, we're gonna list this. We're gonna go mint gem. Where are we? Where is it? Mint gem nine point eight ten. This is a beautiful. This is an absolute. Lutely beautiful copy. This is an absolutely beautiful copy. Please see pick to the side for yourself. And this one we're gonna start. Man, I'm really scared to sell it a hundred. Should list it a little more, but we do hundred. Are we willing to do it with 100? Let's see what's it's being listed on my comic shop. Okay, we do 100. 100 Canadian, which is like 75 bucks US, which is very, very, very reasonable for this baby, I think. Batman, bam, number one. DC first print Jim Lee cover uncensored unread mint gem 9.8 This is an absolutely beautiful copy. Okay, let's do this. List this. List. Let's view it. Nice. The pics look good. Let's see. Ah, oh, this should be a little bit better focused. Oh, they're a little blurry. Should we take pics of it again? I think I need to take pics of it again. Wait a second, how come these are blurry? 
Hey, they look okay on my thing. Okay, I'm gonna take pics of it again, gang. And load them up. Because if I'm calling it an absolutely beautiful copy, the pics should be sharp. Right? Let's take pics of it again. So let me close these guys. Let me close these guys. Here you go. Boop. Gifted a tier one sub to spot of tea. Nice. Thank you for gifting it. Uh, Welsh. Also, thanks. New favorite streamer right here. Uh, thanks, Welsh. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the love. I'm gonna have to take pics of this again. So let's do this. Let's bring these over. I'm gonna do a little movement. And we're gonna bring out the variant and take pics, but we need to set up the big thing again. Let's put this up. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, let's put this up. need clear pictures of the front so you're gonna hear a little blip. I hope it doesn't fall this time no I leaned it against the, the thing <laughs> yeah definitely this one would not be good so let's see if we can get a clear pic of this focus get this thing to focus. Let's put this back. Hopefully. Let's put this here. So let's take it up again. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Turn this right over. Just sent you my details again on Discord. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Spot of T. I hope. Thanks, Spot of T. It's long overdue. Over. And 
hopefully these guys will be better. More focused. Batman. Batman. Move. Okay, let's see if we can add better picks to Go revise. Hopefully these ones came out sharper. Yeah, for some reason the black one came out better, the Jim Lee one. Uh, so I need to kill this, I need to kill this, I need to kill this, I need to kill that, and I need to kill that. And then we're gonna upload these guys. So we're gonna upload this one. We're gonna upload this one, that one, that one, and that one, right? These five. Open them. So let's see, this guy. That's sharp, that's good. And then we got this guy. Let's see. Yeah, that's sharp, that's good. We got this guy. Yeah, that's sharp, that's good. Then we got this guy. Yep, that should be good. And we got this guy. And we got that guy. Okay. So, let's check it out. Revise. Revise, revise. View. Yeah, that's good. Oh, come on. The spine one is not as sharp, but that's the best I could do with this camera. Unfortunate. Is the earlier one's better picks? Let's check it out. Might be time to invest in a better camera. But wait a second, it looks good on my computer. So I'm gonna switch up. I'm gonna change one of these picks. Revise. I wanna kill this pick. I'm gonna kill this one. I'm gonna upload this guy. Let's see if that guy works. Bring it over. There. I think that's sharper. Revise. I'm going to price it that and call it that. I better provide the proof for it to be that, right? Yeah, this is better. Nice. Okay, this is good. Yeah, that's better. That's better. That's better. That's better. Uh, let's see if that one, we got a better pick of that one or not. No, we don't. So that's the best pick we got for that one. Maybe this one, see. No, that's okay. That's a good pick. Cool. So that is listed. Then we got Jim Lee variant cover, DC black label, and censored on red. Batman's junk reveal. This is a beautiful copy. Cool. Okay. So what we can do now is just do a little refresh. And we got all the stuff listed. Sweet. So we got. So far we got 27 books listed. And still have enough how many can we list how many more do we have oh yeah just if you're keeping track we've sold where are we at we sold 41 comics so far in about a month okay and if we're gonna look at it how many more do we have the list for this month well we got 27 listed right now and we 
we've got enough space for another 25 to list this month which is fantastic okay cool 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 Whew, what a stream I got the sun shining <laughs> on the on the screen so I can barely see the text there we go it was a year ago that I sent the eye for an eye stop I'm surprised you remember it. oh for sure certain I try to remember my promises brother I really do um, if I can if I can three and a half hour stream of loading comic books yikes fun okay gang should we call the stream I think we're gonna call the stream that's a serious stream we just did fun oh wow you can make the pop-up chat all big full page that's nice that's nice and we got good lighting eh? pretty pretty thanks for being here gang um, I'm gonna announce live streams most likely today's Wednesday we'll probably start doing some live streams on uh, Saturday Monday or Sunday maybe Sunday we start I just gotta do some spreadsheet stuff tomorrow I won't get a chance to do it later on tonight uh, do some spreadsheet stuff tomorrow uh, where I'm organizing all these things that we've sold and create a table that we're gonna update I'm gonna stay up to it okay and we'll start doing ASMR math stuff on it well that was fun I'm glad you enjoyed Welsh thank you for the sub thank you for the uh, for the cheers thank you for uh, uh, what do you call it uh, giving spot up to your tier one sub well sorry I only caught the end I'll try to catch the next no worries spot up to thanks for my pleasure Nicholas thank you for being here thank you for taking care of business right uh, aside from that hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the week and I'll have this most likely this stream up on uh, BitChute and YouTube tomorrow and I'll try to add a warning at two hours and 25 minutes loud noise <laughs> okay aside from that thanks for the patience I hope you enjoyed and we'll do this again for sure next week when I load more comics on okay bye for now